Okay, everyone, what's up? I'm back. Uh, I'm sorry about that. This is part two. Um, and the video kind of got cut off in the last one. I like to keep it consistent. So this is part two. I'm gonna give you a rundown of the car. Absolutely nothing special at all, by any means right now, but it's special to me. So here we go. Okay, so what you're looking at is the front of a 1995 Integra two-door RS. The reason why I wanted a two-door RS was because I've always loved the way Type R's looked, and um, I've never got to have one back in the day. I had, you know, the GSR and a Special Edition and a GS, but never got a chance to have um, a Type R. So this one's obviously not a Type R, it's just an RS, but we all know that the RS is pretty much exactly the same as the Type R minus all the goodies. So it has no sunroof and you know, all the other, all the other features, etc. So what you're looking at is just a 98 through 2001, um, silver front end, front bumper with a, a lip on it. Um, it's actually, believe it or not, a real type R <laughs> lip from what I was told. Um, and also, um, the car is, you know, it's not, it's not put together by any means. I literally just put that bumper on to see how I liked the way it looked, you know, just to kind of throw it together. You can see the old ones on top of the roof and that's the rear one back there, the black one. So taking a little further, don't mind the Civic. <laughs> it's my roommates um, right here. I got the rear valances because I love the way the, the factory kit looks. I loved it. One of my buddies had it back in the day when, um, you know, he had his, so it just, it just looked awesome. I loved it. So these are the two rear pieces for the balances. Um, also here are the option R side skirts. You know, they got that little bit of lip up on the side. Um, it makes the car look super clean and super good. So I like that look super clean, super, you know, stock kind of like look with just a little bit just to kind of show off and see car has some webs on it. Nothing special. It just kind of came with it. Um, does have leather seats in it, which are going to be changed out. Can't tell you what the plan is for these seats, but, uh, I can tell you they will match the car. So just stay tuned for that. The interior part's going to be the last thing that gets done after the paint. So the car is going to be painted. Um, uh, it's going to be painted a type R replica color, but I won't tell you guys which one yet. You have to wait and find out, but I think it's going to be pretty exciting. Um, like I said, the old bumper up here. Um, and the rear bumper right there as well. Uh, I'm not sure what I, all I have over here. I'll take you guys on a little tour. Um, lots of stuff in this garage, this blind man's garage. Don't forget, um, right here, ready SP. Wow. You know, how hard it took to find that exhaust. It was absolutely hard to find, found it, stoked about it. Really, really good. So, um, I'm happy about that. It's a hard find to find. Probably got some tail lights and headlights and stuff everywhere. Uh, yeah, some headlights. Um, there's some red tail lights somewhere. I'm not sure where, but they're somewhere here. Give you guys a little, it's a, a wing, a Type R wing. Um, it's gonna open up the trunk, but there's just so much stuff around here. I'll just leave it for now. Um, in here, actually, you know, I'll go over here first, guys. So go over here side of the fridge pretty sure hopefully it's showing right there um right there should be showing some five lug suspension that i got i got for it so uh that's gonna go on at some point i'll show you the wheels that are going with it which are not permanent by any means i just wanted to you know get it on to get the five lug on and i just found some wheels so you know just kind of throwing it on for now um the car at some point for what's gonna be done to it is pretty sure I'm going kind of show with it. So it's gonna be kind of crazy. So keep an eye out, like I said. Over there is like one of the racks, you know, just tons of stuff, um, extra parts. I have a Skunk 2 muffler over there I'm not gonna be using now. Um, so yeah, if anyone wants it. <coughs> yeah, it's kind of chilling over there. All my helmets from all the bikes I've had, you know, just Great memorabilia, never get rid of them. Just depressing, kind of, I can't ride anymore, but whatever. Um, give you guys a little tour. Kind of the inside, you saw like the little tight fit, so it wasn't too too much room. Um, not special, you know, just some stock interior. Um, 
you know, it's just, you know, some black, nice and clean for the most part. Um, nothing super crazy, you know, uh, I'm sitting down right there somewhere, I believe uh, there is some, uh, center console stuff. Um, should be a, some climate controls. Um, they're actually out of a stock type R and then, um, there should be the armrest and, the. Uh, the shift area so it's, it all comes in like the carbon fiber so i wanted to make it as much replica cl uh type r clone as i possibly could so i went with that okay close that up i try to be very descriptive just so you guys know you'll probably notice this but um obviously i'm visually impaired almost blind so i figured i'd uh, be as descriptive as i possibly could so like i said in the last video what the motor was if you haven't, you know, if you haven't, if you don't know what I'm talking about right now, feel free to go back and watch part one. I talk about what the motor build and was, what the motor build is and what it is. Um, here we go. This is the header. Nice, beautiful header. I think it looks great. Um, super deal on it. Um, nothing special. Some old school wheels. Some uh, some conic verdicts. Nothing special at all by any means. Just, you know, grab some stuff just to go with, you know, for now. So just whatever I can do to get some five lug on was the plan. So 16 by sevens, they'll work, they'll work cool for now. Um, show you guys the engine bay. Okay, so see the engine bay. Actually, from what I'm told, I can't see too much, but from what I'm told, it is pretty clean for the most part. Um, I know some other stuff's gonna get done to it. Um, I got my boy Ernie, that's gonna help me redo the interior stuff as you can see over there is where the abs was which was taken out for the cleaner look and you know obviously the master cylinder and stuff has to go back on and upon some other stuff so uh that's pretty much the bay and um yeah like i like i heard before i heard it was pretty clean so that's kind of where that is right now um go and close it But yeah, that's kind of where it is with me right now. Um, I'm just happy about this, you know? It's a, a great thing to do, because sometimes when stuff happens to us, it takes us to our dark place. It does. Um, trauma happens to people, and sometimes you don't know how to deal with it. Some people don't even make it out of it. You know, I, I'm grateful that, you know, I was able to, you know, pull it together and come out of my dark place otherwise I wouldn't have made it out um, you guys haven't even heard the whole story yet this is just part of it so just continue watching and um, I'll definitely be go ahead and displaying a lot more and stuff like that so um, I just feel like you know like stuff should be shared with the world so it raises awareness and that you should always try to inspire someone so I'm not here to make money that's not what this is about. This is me expressing myself and letting the world know that people with disabilities are not, you know, like we're, we're handy able. <laughs> okay, we're not capped. And like I said before in a different video, you're only limited to what you limit yourself to. So don't limit yourself, reach your goals, do what you wanna do in life. I don't care what disability you have, you know, it took me a while to get to this point, but I'm still doing it, you know? Uh, I plan on showing some other videos of me at the gym because I also go to the gym as well. Um, you know, I get out and do stuff as well. Um, this piece behind me right here, um, you know, body because I've always wanted one. Uh, I'll never be able to really drive it on the road, but you know what? I I'm going to go somewhere. I'm going to go to empty parking lot. Someone's going to drive me. I'll do a video about that too, but you know, it's 2020. Anything is possible. 2020 is the vision everybody strives for. So guess what? This year, if you're dis if you're visually impaired, if you're blind, or you're going through any kind of like you know eye stuff, hey, it's 2020. We all got some vision this year, so make sure we use it. So put it to the test. Um, I just have so many people that are in my corner right now that are amazing. Um, once again, I want to thank Speed Factory for hooking it up with all the parts. You know, especially like. All the stuff I bought from them, we're, we're into the project a lot, you know. Um, so I thank them for all their help with everything. I thank my wife. Um, so I probably should have thanked her first. Don't tell her. Um, I thank a really good friend of mine. Um, really, really good friend. Um, she's been amazing. Helped me through so much stuff. 
you know, just thank you. I appreciate you all. Um, so if you can change, you know, the perspective of one person, I feel like you've done your job. You don't have to like reach out and reach the millions. As long as you reach one person, you made an impact. That's all that matters. You know, don't look for the big show and the fame or nothing like that. That's not who I am or what I'm about. I just, I'm just a real person going through a serious situation and struggling and just want to share with everybody what's close to me, what's dear to me, what I've been through, what I'm going through, and to let you know that if I can get through it, if I can do it, then you can do it. I have way more videos I plan on sharing, possibly, not even possibly, I don't even know why I said that. I am 100% going to be talking to other people that are going through struggles, uh, either eye problems, um, you know, disabilities. I have a really good friend, like a really good friend that, um, you know, he had a bike accident. So I will be interviewing probably a lot of people. So you don't want to miss those because I mean, it's really good to get perspective on, you know, a disability that someone has and what they're going through to kind of understand, to kind of, you know, humble you a little bit. Cause what's easy for you sometimes that you think is no big deal to us is absolutely hard but we still do it and we don't complain about it so if you can get your train of thought changed just for a quick second and look at something from a different perspective i feel like i've done my bit so you know hope you guys all have a fantastic rest of your weekend or morning or night wherever you are in the world so i've you know have friends all over the world now it's great um you know this is great. Honestly, if this wouldn't happen to me with all the eye stuff, it's hard to believe that it happened for a great reason. But really, I think the reason's greater than me. So hope this reaches you guys all in a positive light. Hope you guys enjoyed the little short clip I gave you. And I will definitely be sharing a lot more. Um, once again, this is C-Dev's Blind Life. And this is part two. So this was just the finishing up of what I missed in the earlier video about the car and stuff like that. But I always want to throw a little motivational kick on it because, hey, sometimes people need to be inspired. And if I'm out here and I'm about 80% blind and vision's not improving and slowly, slowly declining, then you know what? You can do it. So that's all I got to say about that. So... Um, definitely live your dreams and do all the things you feel. Um, once again, I'm out. You guys have a great week.